Hey hackers, Blue Cosmo from CCS here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're a consistent viewer here, you would notice that I did change my camera angle so you guys can get a little bit of a cooler look of what I'm doing and the background behind me and all my little Deadpool stuff and Cthulhu back there, all this other stuff. Anyways, um, today we are back at it again with the Bash Bunny Mark II and today we're going to be stealing Wi-Fi credentials. I thought that would be a pretty cool payload. I have done this on the USB rubber ducky, so do check that out if you guys are interested. But regardless, we're gonna jump into this. Let's get started. Um, I am on my desktop right here. Let's go ahead and take the Bash Bunny, put it in army mode, and plugging it into your computer. Now, while that's booting up, I'm gonna just let you guys know that if you guys don't know how to use the Bash Bunny or the USB rubber ducky, I've made full-fledged tutorials on both devices they will be linked in the description, they'll be linked in the cards, whatever, whatever, whatever. So make sure to check those out if you guys are very new to the Bash Bunny and you guys want to learn how to use it, or very new to the USB rubber duck, you want to learn how to use it. Um, yeah, so check those out. It, it also covers things like Ducky Script and uh, Bunny Script, all the other stuff. Really cool, so check that out. Anyways, we are going to open up uh, my text editor. I'm going to be using Atom. And I'm already have, I already have it open in switch position one. So I guess we can just make our payload. So let's go ahead and save this file as payload.txt. And let's go ahead and get started. I'll go ahead and make the header real quick. All right, guys, so yeah, I just go, went ahead and made the header for this payload. Again, we are stealing Wi-Fi passwords through PowerShell. Um, of course, it's created by me, and our target is Windows 10. The attack modes we're going to be using are a human interface device, so basically like a keyboard and mass storage, so something like a thumb drive or a micro SD card. All right, guys, so I just made the setup portion of our payload. Um, we go ahead and set the LED to the setup status. We get the switch position of whatever switch position we're on. So if we're on switch position one or two, and it goes ahead and sets the attack mode to a human interface device and storage. All right, hackers, so right here, we have a area where we're going to run a ducky script file. We're going to call this file ducky script.txt. And this file is basically going to do all of the Wi-Fi password exfiltration for us. Um, and that's going to be pretty much it. So we can just end the payload by doing a LED finish. So we know that it's done. So let's go ahead and make a new file. Call, uh, we'll call this our ducky tech script .txt. Save that. And this is again is where we're going to make our actual ducky script file. Again, I just made a little header right here. In this little section, we just go ahead and open up PowerShell. All right, hackers. So in this section, all we do is change directories into the Bash Bunny. Your Bash Bunny should be labeled Bash Bunny and Camel Case, but if it isn't, just go ahead and make sure your Bash Bunny is labeled this. If your Bash Bunny is labeled something else, you guys can just um, put whatever the name of your Bash Bunny is in here. And all it's going to do is change directories into whatever drive is labeled this name. All right. And then it just changes directories into the loop folder. So all of our exfiltration will go straight into the current directory, which would be the loop folder. All right, guys, so this giant line of PowerShell, I basically just took this from the USB rubber ducky Wi-Fi password exfiltrator that we made in a previous video. So I just took this line from that script. If you haven't seen the video, you guys can check it out. But this PowerShell basically uses the NetSH WLAN show profiles command to show all the listed networks that we have have password saved to. And from there, we can actually get the contents of those passwords format it to a table, and then just save it to a file named after the computer's username, .txt, and then we'll just exit PowerShell. So once that you know happens, the payload is done. 
All right, so let me just double check the payload, make sure we're not missing anything. Oh, like this. <laughs> make sure you're, uh, you put that uh, curly brace right there. Oh, I forgot it. Cool. So now that the payload's done, I'm just double checking super quickly, make sure we didn't miss anything important. Uh, yeah, no, it looks good. So we can close this. We can go ahead and eject. Unplug your bash bunny and go ahead and put it in whatever switch position you saved your payloads to. I saved mine to switch position one. So we're going to plug it in in switch position one and let that boot up because the bash bunny is like its own mini you know, computer. So it takes about seven ish seconds to boot up. Once it does, it makes that noise and opens PowerShell. Did that, did that, and that's it. So if we go on my file explorer and go ahead onto the bash bunny, go to our loot, there you can see a blue c.txt, that's my username, a blue c. And this file right here has the Wi Fi password. Um, I, this is a new Windows installation so this is the only wi-fi password saved onto the computer um but yeah I, of course i'm going to blur this out so you guys won't be able to actually see the wi-fi password here in the password here but rest assured there's the wi-fi password and the wi-fi ssid so there you go i'm gonna delete that off of here yes. uh let me go ahead and um my so that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed another Bash Bunny video. Um, if you want more Bash Bunny content, let me know in the comment below because I've made like probably like six or so Bash Bunny videos by now. And um, yeah, you seem to enjoy them. So I'm going to keep rolling them out. Um, if you guys want any specific payloads um, for me to create, uh, let me know in the comment and I'll make sure to get those out as soon as I can. I am going on vacation in a little bit, but once I get back, I will make sure to get on those as soon as I can. So again, make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe and do the whole YouTube algorithm thing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So stay happy, stay positive, And as always, happy hacking.